What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here. Today we got some information on league play for Call of Duty Black Ops 4, but there still are quite a few people who are kind of confused on how the mode is going to work. So I want to kind of break it down for you guys with the information we got from today and a few months ago to hopefully clarify any questions you may have. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, like I said earlier today, Treyarch posted the update over on the Black Ops 4 and COD Competitive subreddit. Basically, they go into detail on some of the other content that's coming up for next week and also for the entire month of January. And if you guys want to go check out the entire post, I'm going to have a link to it down below in the description. But today, again, we are primarily going to be focusing on League Play. And I have the entire information and the Reddit post on screen for you guys. Basically, League Play is going to kick off by the end of January, so that final week of the month is when the mode is going to go live and then they also say that league play will operate a little differently this time around the system is designed to emulate a schedule more like the pros play where league play events will be intense and frequent but shorter duration generally spanning weekends or three day periods in between those events scrims will be run as unranked playlists using cwl rules so that players and teams can sharpen their skills before a competition both league play events and scrims will use skill-based matchmaking where focus has been applied to making sure skill matches are as accurate as possible without resulting in empty lobbies or long wait times. League ladders will be built around 50 player groupings to ensure the most intense competition for these shorter duration events. We'll provide more around how the ranking system works along with other details as we approach the launch date. Our planned schedule is to release the COD World League Hub and first league play events by the end of January. That said, we want to make sure that we've spent enough time playtesting and incorporating feedback before it launches so this date is subject to change we love rank play as much as you do and that's why we're taking the time to require to give league play the attention it deserves from there we'll continue to release new world league hub features including teams and clans for our competitive focused players timing on all the above features is subject to change based on development and we'll keep everyone informed with more precise info as we get closer to launching these new features and so so yeah, that's basically the little update we got on League Play. Again, it's going to kick off by the end of January. And as of now, it looks like there is no little tier system for League Play. There's no Bronze Division. There's no Master Division. There's no Diamond, Platinum, etc. Pretty much you have a three day period to get ranked on these events and then after those three days are up you cannot level up anymore on the ladders, you cannot go down anymore. Um, you have three days in order to pretty much get ranked. That's what I get from reading this description over on Reddit here. They do say that they have other details though, um, but they haven't came out with those yet. They are going to provide those later on um, as we get closer to the launch date like they said. So. Um, very, very confusing, honestly. I'm not the only one who was confused at first by reading this. And there is still, like I said, a lot more information that's missing from League Play. And they're going to come out with that later on. And I really cannot wait to see what's going to be happening with League Play. Because right now, a lot of the COD pros are very upset with how the system is going to work for Black Ops 4. I do see why, though. And to be honest, I'm not too happy with this system either. I personally think having a tier or division system just makes a player stand out way more in lobbies and it's kind of like bragging rights you know you can hold that over your teammates or other players in lobbies or creating your own team like in black ops 2 league play with your own emblem and name and then the entire team as a whole gets placed in a certain division also for the scrim mode essentially it's pretty much pubs but with a competitive rule set on and a lot of the pros are upset because they feel that these lobbies may be turned into a non-competitive mode since there would be players who are you know maybe new to competitive and trying the mode out and then they end up going against seasoned competitive players who like strictly play COD for game battles, wagers, etc. And the new players end up getting smoked online, they leave the game, and then the team who uh, that player was on is just down one player. So it's basically like a 3v4. Now what I am personally more interested in is this new mode called Gauntlet, which was showcased a few months ago. And essentially, this is a mode where you play a certain amount of games, and then depending on however many games you win before you reach a certain number of losses, you will earn an in-game item. So say you have to win seven 
seven games out of ten games if you win those seven then you're gonna earn like a gear piece for your specialist characters or something like that if you happen to lose a game then that's gonna result in a strike and a player who gets too many strikes will have to start the gauntlet all over again so gauntlet is a way players can you know kind of get introduced into the competitive world of cod and i really love this idea a lot however I kind of wish League Play operated a bit similar. Now, as I stated, many, many, many COD pros are very upset with this system, but I feel a lot of them are not really giving out constructive criticism. I'm not sure what goes on behind meeting rooms over at Treyarch or Activision, but this is just what I see online on Twitter and Reddit. Maybe a few of them have reached out to the devs and offered advice on League, I don't know, but this is what I would do. I personally think there should be a division system, but I think I can warm up to the ladder ranking a bit if and only if there was a way uh, other players online can see that hey this player is ranked on 15 on the ladders or the team I'm going against here is ranked whatever you know something like that to showcase your ranking would be awesome Plus, I think the uh, top 10 teams could get like a specific in-game item that's only obtainable through League Play. Then maybe the top three can get something or the top five. And then the first place team could get like 3,000 COD points or something like that. That's what I would love to see for League Play. Just a bigger, more grander motivation to get players on and play and grind League Play. But with what we have now, I can really only see players getting on and playing the competitive modes for Gauntlet and then the weekend events. But tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments. Do you guys like League Play or do you hate it? And also, what would you do to change up the mode? Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. And thanks for watching. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.